everybody. Hello, everybody. I think it's hello and good morning. Early start today, it's quarter to ten. I've got a movie at the cinemas in one hour. And then another one at one twenty. Because I'm doing a double film day today. We've got Venom and Boss Baby to see. Oh dear. Man, this should be an interesting one. I don't know if these movies are going to be any good, but we'll soon find out. Um, no, I've got a sandwich to take with me. Let me stop. we got barbecue chicken, bacon and cheese. We'll have that in between. My mum picked it up. It's reduced, so... I'll have that in between the films because I've got like a 40 minute gap. So. And then I probably will buy something in the cinema, but I've got to fill up my water bottle with some juice. My lovely water bottle that has a C on it. Love it. Um, I'm going to fill this up. <laughs> video reviews for these so this will be a whole vlog of the day then this will upload and then I'll upload separate reviews for the things because I just feel like there's no point putting two reviews in one vlog and then that would that just confuse me when I'm editing it and also I don't want to film like two different vlogs while I'm out because what's the point of that? You know? So. Bloody hell. Right. Hello. Oh, there's music now. There are going to be other people in here. I'm just a bit early. We've got 20 minutes until it starts. So I'm going to go for a wee wee. But I have got. A wee drink. Someone's walking in like to here. Um Row G Seat One Screen Four Boss Baby Two Ten Forty Five. I always like to sit like not right the very back, like towards the back. The staff here are dead nice. Um yeah, I had a nice chat with one of the members of staff before I went in, so it's very nice here. Ah, this is the way. My spy senses are... Wind. Right, I've just come out of seeing Boss Baby, there's a cinema right there. I have now half an hour to spare. I'm gonna do the Morrison's thing I said. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat a sandwich. filmed a bit of it. The, the screen we to start off with was like flashing green. So anyway it had to someone had to go up and fix the projector. Um, and we were all waiting but the screen just flashed green but we sort it out and start the film. Anyway they skipped the adverts and they just played the film and it was all back to normal. Then it was a subtitled version of the movie. So then we watched like a good 
four, five minutes of the film. And then they just thought, oh, it was a subtitled one, let's start it again. So we watched the first bloody five minutes again. Oh dear. And the subtitles weren't doing my head, so why can't they just keep it like that? Like, no one was bothered about the subtitles. But anyway, it was a good film either way. I did enjoy it. Right in Morrison's this week, first thing I'm seeing is Renault. That's the first movie on DVD. Seeing the new one later, I don't think it's going to be as good. But yes, there is, there is that. We also have the David Lynch version of June. I hope to see the new one at some point this week. Yes, lovely chaplain. Um, they're not a lot of here, but we obviously we do have some of the new releases. Oh, bleh, I just dropped that on the floor. We do have Space Jam, a new legacy, which I did not enjoy at the cinema, so I will not picking that up. Right, let's um, pick up Fast and Furious 9 off the floor. Um, this is here as well. This was there last week as well, so there's nothing special about that. Uh, we do have the DVD for Space Jam. What the bloody hell is that on my finger? We do have... Grid's a new age. Um, they're on DVD. Um, we do have the two movie collection as well, and we do have the Grid's a new age Blu-ray. Did pick this up yesterday, um, so don't need that. Um, we do also have here the Forever Purge. I've heard it, this film's all right. It does have a Dolby Atmos track on this Blu-ray, so that is really good. Don't know if I'm gonna pick it up because I don't have any other Purge films. Yes, we do have some of the most recent, well, recent releases, they're not really the most recent. It's a really, it's just a lot of the same stuff. There isn't a lot here. Um, yeah, it's all the usual stuff apart from the new releases up there. So yeah, not much, nothing special in here. Yeah, as usual, nothing special in there. It's, it's just the same old stuff. And um, what do we have here? Well, there's a big thing for Space Jam. We do have some DVDs over here, actually. Um, X-Men Dark Phoenix, which I didn't, do not like that film. But, let's talk about it. We have Terminator, Deadpool. Yeah. It's Captain Marvel, and there's a lovely Ant-Man and the Wasp with a slip. But um, I like the first Ant-Man, but I don't really think I'm going to bother with Ant-Man and the Wasp. Black Panther. And we also have Doctor Strange. I think these are like the slips that people, you know, obviously collect. These ones because they all match, which I think are nice slips. And we do have Infinity War and Endgame up there. Endgame doesn't have matching slip though. No. We do have some Star Wars, Rise of Skywalker and Solo Star Wars Story. And here is just this week's releases, Cruise 2, Fast and Furious 9 and Space Jam. A lot of this stuff here I saw on the but these are actually two for eight pounds so we don't see we have Corpse Bride, these are all Halloween films. Pass with the clock in its ward, Halloween school we do Mr. Bean Halloween. We have that new witches film, um, Sky One. We have Scoob, which is a really bad animated film. The animation is so bad and it's so boring. Um, uh, Joy Death. We do have the original witches as well, so you could pick both the new witches and the original, but it's good. Which is actually not a bad deal, so yeah, and there are five of each as well. So there's good, good films there on DVD, but good selection. So not too bad this week. I never really pick anything up from here. So yeah, I'm not going to buy anything, but yeah, good selection. Good little selection we got there. And now, I'm quickly looking to nip and nip into home bargain for some mints because I think my breath stinks and I don't want to be going to denim with smelly breath. So. 
Right, we're back in the wind. So you probably not hear a word I'm saying, but I did get a Dr Pepper Zero. Because I, I obviously I didn't like fill up my water bottle before I left. You saw that. But, yeah, look at this. Daniel, I'm awesome. the beast. Get ready for the rally in the streets. No end too high, they tell you. But above clouds, we reach. I'm numb to the words they preach. We listen to the inner voice leading. Listen to the words I'm speaking. Always for the people till the day I stop breathing. Obviously, talk more about it in my review. I did not think it was that bad. I think a lot of people were disappointed and exaggerated it because you know, it was disappointing, yes, because I'm a big fan of the first film. But it wasn't bad, like, it wasn't boring. There were some moments where their VFX just did not look right, uh, and there were some moments where there was just too much going on. But apart from that, it's not a bad film. I think it's good, and I think it was a good watch, and I thought it was really funny. So it, it was not bad. It's been exaggerated a lot. I really did not think it was bad at all. We'll talk about it in my review, but it's been a nice day. I'm just heading home now. I've had my sandwich and all that crap and I'm just going to head home now and go on some reviews. It's about 20 past 3. Um, so yeah, it's been a nice little uh, morning and afternoon now. Um, but yeah, I'm not... I'm not going out with my mum tomorrow, I've just been speaking to her um, because of work commitments. Because I was going to be seeing Governor Anson with her tomorrow, but she's got a work commitment. Um, I just can't do it Thursday because she's working on a Friday, she promised my sister that she'd go to the traffic centre. So I just said, you know what, it's fine. We can always go see another film together. Um, she can just, I want her to have Friday with my sister, so yeah, we'll probably. Find something else to go see, and I'll go see Darren Anson by myself. But yeah, it's fine. Well, I think we're going to see Spencer. I saw the trailer for that today. It looks good. Princess Diana the Musical was a big pile of crap, but this film could actually, you know, really be a good biopic movie from Princess Diana. So hopefully that will be good. That does look interesting, so... Yeah, anyway, I've got to walk up a big bloody hill now. That, that, that's not even just it. It goes right up. So I wish me luck, but I've had a nice little afternoon out. I'm going to now get home and film my reviews for the films that I saw today. And they'll be up probably after this has gone up. Because it's like I'm editing as I go with an app, so... But I like to edit my reviews on my computer, so... Yeah, anyway, I'm going to shut up now and I'll see you all shortly. Right, that's this vlog done. There'll be two reviews out on the channel. I don't know what happened, that blew around in a bit. I had, all, I had like some brown blob on my finger. I don't know what it was. My reviews are filmed, I need to edit them so they should be up after this. So they won't be up, they might be up, I don't know. Just, just turn your notification bell on, so then you might know. Um, for the rest of the week, I'm probably going to end up seeing June. I'm meet, I might be meeting my friend Kira to go to Liverpool, so there might be HMV Blu-ray hunt. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll, we'll find out. So yes, goodbye, and I'll see you all in the next one.